And uh, here we are then, the main room that I do my show from, the main studio. I'll give you a quick look around what we do in here then. Um, at the moment we're currently in a commercial break. I've got a screen up there that allows me to see uh, there's about 16 of the local stations, not all of them are displayed, but you can kind of, if you know 16 of them are playing, the rest you can presume will be okay. Just to show that the commercial breaks are currently going out and any jingles that we play, any localizers, that screen up there shows me that everything is playing. Uh, up on the walls as well we have uh, two clocks in the room that are basically Dell monitors with a clock displayed on them. And uh, that flashes when the phone rings. That is an emergency uh, off-air light that I've never seen go off before luckily. I got the date and time digitally at the top there as well. And quite simply there if you want to read it, you see. They think of everything. Um, looking around the room as well, I have a, uh, a PC here as well that lets me go on the internet to look at dodgy things to uh, pass the time. Um, a system here with the text on and also I can change to the uh, digital phone system, it's called Phonebox on there as well. If we get any calls coming through, which none are at the moment. But we have um, 12 telephone lines. And if we're ever giving anything away, they light up pretty quick. I've uh, got a TV there as well, which I find quite interesting. Um, looking around the room then, we have a little mixing console here. We have two. They're quite nice actually, a split console um, with different faders on them that do different things. Now, they're all volume controls. Uh, the PFL buttons at the bottom allow you to uh, pre-fade and listen to things off the radio without them actually going out on air. Um, we use a playout system. Everything is digital in here. We do have a couple of... Uh, CD players that are empty at the moment, nothing going on there. Um, and we literally play everything from this system, so I'm going to have to come out of this break now. I will show you. So I'll play this one up. For your last chance to be entered into the London Irish £10,000 cash giveaway. I'll fire the song, and I'll play Command of here. More music variety. Bristol's GWR. There you go. Every station then played their own name. I get to hear some in here, just basically dummy jingles and stuff so I can hear how they'll sound on the uh, on the stations, but um, if we look at the system here, we have four windows there. I'm currently playing Neo's Miss Independent, lovely song. Out uh, of our channel one, we have four on here that correspond to different faders on the desk. So number one is faded up at the moment, and that is number one playing on there. It's not the prettiest playout system in the world. It does look a bit like um, Fisher-Price, my first audio player, but it does the job quite well. Over here we've got our, um, our bank of sound, if you like. All of the red ones at the top there are different elements of production, different station names, and we'll fire those and it'll basically say the same thing in a different way. At the bottom, the yellow one allows me to preview it locally in the studio. Um, these are promos along the side. Every radio station will have a 30 second ad break uh, filler that will, um, that will play their local breakfast show promotion. So when I hit that, on all the local stations, it will fire out the uh, the local breakfast advert. Microphone here, we have um, four of them in this room. Over there, they don't get used all that much, to be fair. We get a newsreader comes in at 6 o'clock and 7. Um, still about, you know, a good half an hour away yet. Um, they will sit down there and present their, uh, their news bulletin. Um, what else do we have on here, then? We've got the microphones come on over here. Uh, mic 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, CD players are on there, we've got the national news on there, IRN. Um, these channels on here as well are all completely assignable, so if I wanted to change that one to something else, I could press change on there, and then uh, input on here, and that'll give me a little list of uh, different options. And using that, I could go through them. Say I wanted that, I could press take, and then watch that all change. See? So, uh, basically they're all digitally wired to everything else, there's no hard wiring goes on anymore really, so that means you can have any fader set up however you'd want it to be. Um, going over to the uh, this area here, we have a talkback unit to uh, talk to other rooms in the building, as I said we're in quite a big building at the moment, and this here is a microphone processor. Um, we have different settings on here for different people, all you'll do when I come in, I'll get my card here, um, we'll, all the presenters who do shows have different ones, they're all uh, normally kept up here, there's a few of them around. Um, literally you'll come in, insert your card in there, find your preset and just tap it and then depending on who you want, different processing settings depending on how your voice sounds on the air, an engineer will come in and set that up with you on your first day so uh, you sound quite good on the air which does help. Um, over here we've got, um, this is for syndication, um, you can basically enable this studio to the network and you've got the level of the, uh, the network feed there as well. 
We use a custom mode system that was designed in house. It basically transmits an, an MP2 stream to all of our local radio stations, which is a lot cheaper than using ISDN or satellite or anything like that. It's basically fed to uh, over a private network to uh, all of our sites, and we can set that up from here, take the studio live, or it can also be enabled from any studio in this building as well, should anything go wrong in here and we need to move. Um, up there we have a webcam too, which I know that people watching us on that right now. Uh, monitor speakers at the back of the room there that can be controlled from sort of controlling the desk here. Now the playout should hopefully play into the next track on its own here. And it should fire a command too, which we can see about. More music variety. Two C R F M. They all fired but one at the top there. <laughs> which happens from time to time. I've got my window out there as well, I can see out, out into the uh, streets of London. It's quite lively for this time in the morning still. Um, nice little pub down there that often makes me drool when that's open. Um, what else can I show you around here then? <coughs> Want to go around the other side of the room? We have headphones as well, obviously we wear when we're uh, talking on air to prevent feedback. We have a little um, PC here for a producer, should your show have one, they'll come in here and sit there and surf the internet normally. Nice comfy couch here yeah, that's quite handy for a nap. Uh, sliding patio doors as well that takes out into the main area out here. Um, out here we have a little radio so we can hear what's going on on our network. Put Santa Claus hat on. Big multi-track desk here as well that we use for uh, when live bands come in and stuff we can record them out here which we do from time to time. Um, through here we've got a little, uh, little news booth which is in the dark at the moment but they produce like news bulletins for our network from here. This here is uh, another network. This is Gold AM. Comes from this room in here. It's basically a mirror of uh, my room, though. Not a lot different. Same same systems and everything in here. And that's about all there is to it, I think, really. It's not really a lot more to show you. It's very simple, really. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this, uh, albeit brief, tour of how radio syndication works. And if you've never been inside a radio studio before, this is what it all looks like on the other end of the, uh, the speakers. So there you go. Thank you for checking it out.